morning, well after a very very good night out, uh, we're up early um, to basically get on the road and get home. I've planned the route, I reckon it's going to be probably about five stops on the way home, um, which I'm hoping this whole video is basically just going to be me stopping, charging, getting on the road again. Um, but the, basically the reason we're up early is because Sarah's pretty anxious about the journey. Is it? It's just about the time, yeah? It's about yeah, how long it's going to take. Yeah, so... Will we get home before night? <laughs> There you go, we started off with just over 50%. We've done, I think it's about 17 or 18 miles to Nutsford and um, we're filling up with our first charge. So um, we're gonna get some breakfast and then we can um, hopefully get on our way and uh, get some mileage under our belts. Well, I'm feeling a million times better now. I've had something to eat. Uh, we're, we've managed to get to Nutsford. Uh, it's uh, the car's charging. It seems to be charging a little bit slowly. I'm wondering if the battery's a bit cold this morning. And it's just um, taking the edge off the speed. Uh, we'll see how it goes throughout the day. Actually, at the moment we've got I think five charge stops uh, factored in because we were on sort of half charge when we started this morning. Uh, some of those, or I think the vast majority, Ecotricity, but I think there might be a couple of Polar ones. But if I've learned anything, sort of travelling in this car, you have to be a little bit flexible. So um, I've got a route and a journey um, and stops in mind but we'll, um, we'll just see how the day goes. I'm quite laid back about it. Uh, Sarah a little bit the opposite really, she just wants to get home um, understandably so yeah we'll see how the day goes. So that's charge number two done. Um, for some reason it's charging quite slowly today beyond 80% so the rapid charge is fine but um, I'm on 82%, I've just unplugged it, it still said it had about 35 minutes left to go, which um, normally it's about 20 minutes top, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, my battery temperature's up, uh, I don't know. Well I'm not sure what was happening with my car when I arrived, but um, after about the fourth attempt, I got it working. Um, it's charging fine. Uh, and met a very nice chap in a i3 here. Right, we have arrived at the next service station and it's showing emergency stop button press. So I'm, I'm hoping we can get this working. Well, unfortunately, uh, trying to reset the button it's not working so I'm gonna to have to give them a call and see what they say problem is I have pushed on a bit and we've only got about 11 miles left on this charge so I'm um, I really need this to work hello there I'm at one of your chargers uh, and it says on the screen emergency bo uh, stop button pressed uh, but when I twist it it's not releasing it and it's um, the touch screens just not responding Oh, okay, so try and will the signal to me. <laughs> uh, right, I've only got about 11 miles left. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you. Cheers, bye bye. This is why we are never doing this again, ever. That gym? 12 miles. How many have we got? <laughs> <laughs> 12 miles. Turn everything off. Low battery charge. Well, it actually says 13 miles. Oh, that's actually just changed to 13 as well. I've got 11%. We're going to have to just potter. Right, you ready? What, what are we going to do? If we're going a wing and a prayer, what if we break down? Wow, ah, can't sit here, can we? <laughs> We've got a little bit. What about five percent? Okay. We've got about five miles. And it's seven. We need to be seven miles. Well, that hasn't gone well. Um, basically, the 
post, the polar post we stopped at, it um, wasn't communicating. Uh, there was another one about four miles up the road. He checked it, that wasn't communicating either, which basically means it doesn't drop onto a free vend like Ecotricity. So um, they're just useless, they're sat there. There's another rapid about seven miles up the road, seven, seven and a half miles. Uh, I'm not far off probably turtle mode. Um, all my dashes are up. Um, I've probably got second exit, then keep to the right. I cannot believe we've made it here. We've just drifted in. Um, I say drifted in about a mile ago. Uh, I switched to turtle mode and um, if it hadn't have been for uh, a Tesco's lorry traveling at 50 miles an hour that I was able to just drop in behind in Hypermill. Sarah isn't overly joyed about electric cars at the moment. She's gonna get herself a coffee uh, and uh, calm down a little bit. Uh, and uh, I think I'm probably gonna have to do the same, to be honest. Yeah, it's just ruined this whole journey home. We were doing so well. Uh, we were making good time. We we're doing good speeds. Uh, it's just now, we've probably spent an hour messing about. Uh, they, just by chance, there's a little tiny garage on the side of the road that had a um, seven kilowatt post. So in my car, it will only charge at three kilowatts. It, um, it said it was a pound for an hour. Uh, and the guy in the shop said, oh, it's okay, because in 45 minutes your car will be charged. Uh, he then admitted himself, he had no idea about electric cars or how they work. So um, I plugged it in, I got it working. 20 minutes later, it turned itself off. And he said, he said that that's what it should do. Uh, it clearly said on the post it wasn't. However you look at it, it would only take old pound coins. He managed to find one scraping around the shop, couldn't find another one, so I had to make do with the charge I had. It was showing seven and a half miles to uh, Cheveley Services, where we are now, and the um, gasometer was saying I had seven, seven miles, eight miles. Either either, I was right on the limit. Um, and it was like the EV gods were shining down on me. As I pulled out of that garage, there was this slow moving Tesco lorry that I was able just to drop in behind. Um, and thankfully the in-laws have um, just called. They've got Sunday dinner ready for us. So um, something exciting to get home for. And uh, I'll be honest, we obviously didn't get much sleep last night. So I'll be glad to just get home and put my feet up now. Well, there we go. We made it home. Uh, we had a kind of a quick splash and dash at the um, service station not far from here, just so that um, I could get home uh, and not worry. I think we were there 10 minutes. So um, the journey's over and I've had a, a day or so now just to kind of think about it. Uh, and the big question for me is, would I do that again? Uh, for me, yes, I would. You know, uh, I enjoyed the drive. Take aside the, the small issue we had. Uh, I really enjoyed the drive. I liked stopping um, regularly. I liked not having the pressure to really push on and get anywhere. And I think that came from just having, you know, in my mind before I left, I knew the journey was gonna take a long time. And I was content with that. Uh, I didn't feel like I had to rush. And I felt the journey was going really well. You know, it's a journey we've done hundreds and hundreds of times. Uh, we see that as a four and a half, five hour journey. Actually, that took us eight and a half hours to get home. As far as trying to sort out the charges and um, where it went wrong, I, as far as I was concerned, I had planned that route really well. And uh, the charger I went to, the Polar one, the only reason I chose that over an Ecotricity one is because it's free to me. I've got the um, subscription to, to go and use it. So I thought, oh, that will save me five pounds. Uh, I had in mind, if that one didn't work, there was another one four or five miles up the road. Unfortunately, when I spoke to the chap on the phone, that one wasn't working either. So my only other fallback was where I ended up, which was right on the limit of my range. And actually, when we got going, we were never gonna make it. So thank goodness that garage was there with the I think it was probably a three kilowatt charger. Uh, it, it gave us just enough, and I mean just enough, to get to the next rapid uh, and Ecotricity. So, uh, you know, overall, Ecotricity, I have to say, have been very, very good. They haven't let us down. The, um, every single charge point I've, I've been to over the, the course of that journey, uh, it worked flawlessly. So uh, that's the journey. Um, the, that's kind of the, the ne little negative bits of it. For me, the positive was, uh, I've just added up what it cost me in uh, electricity. It's cost me uh, just short of 41 pounds to do uh, effectively a 500 mile journey. 
Uh, in my Mazda, I worked it out, that would be about 110, 115 pound of petrol that would have cost me. You know, that's how it is at the moment. Uh, I wanted to do it as an experiment. I'm, I've satisfied my own curiosity. Yes, I would do it again, but I'd do it on my own. Uh, I don't think Sarah will get in the car with me next time. She'd rather drive herself. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's where we are now. So uh, that kind of brings the vlog to an end now. Um, if you've enjoyed it, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll see you again soon. Take care. It's just really annoying. I'm really... I can't believe we got to the last one. And... But, when, but what are we gonna do? Is there one further on that we can pay for? I'm seriously pissed off.